Namaste, uh, you Raget, and a very, very good morning to everyone. I welcome everybody from the Heart Hospital Balatan Fure. Um, I, I would like to welcome His Excellency Kumar Tuhin, Ambassador of India in Hungary. Uh, Deputy Mayor of Balatan Furet, Mrs. Uh, Lenke Hari, I would like to welcome you too. Uh, Dr. Gabo Veresh, Director of the hospital. All the doctors and nurses present for the specially curated yoga session for the Balatan Furet Hospital. I would also like to welcome uh, Ms. Ankita Sud, the yoga teacher of the Embassy of India in Hungary. Uh, today we are going to do a very special yoga session, uh, specially done for the doctors and nurses uh, as a run-up to the sixth International Day of Yoga, uh, which we are celebrating on 21st June. Uh, I would uh, like to welcome all of you to this special session. Uh, now I would request Ambassador of India to open today's session. Honorable Deputy Mayor of Balatun Furet, Director General of uh, State Heart Rehabilitation Center and Hospital, doctors and staff of the Cardiac Center, and dear friends. A very good morning to everyone. I am very happy to speak to you today at this event, which is being organized in preparation of the sixth International Day of Yoga. I am especially pleased that the beautiful city of Balaton Furet is hosting this event, a city with which India shares many close connections, including of great poet Rabindranath Tagore, who stayed at this cardiac center for some time. As we all know, this year, the whole world has faced unprecedented challenges and the corona virus pandemic has severely impacted the world economy, our health, physical and emotional, and also our well-being. The fight against uh, the virus will have to be fought as much in mind as with our bodies. And it is here that the positive role of yoga in bringing holistic health, in connecting our body, mind, and soul, and in teaching us the path from illness to wellness is appreciated and understood all across the world. <clears throat> and therefore, in keeping with this reality, this year, we are organizing International Day of Yoga with the theme, yoga from home, yoga with family, and of course, yoga with uh, social distancing. The United Nations General Assembly had adopted a resolution in December 2014 to declare June 21 as the International Day of Yoga. So this event in Balaton Furet today is one of those important events being organized all over the world in pursuance of this declaration of the United Nations and to honor the universal heritage of yoga, which has been a timeless practice and treasure for humanity. I wish you all a very good yoga session today, a very happy day, very healthy day, and hope that we will all be able to do yoga next time physically together. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you very much, uh, sir. Now I would request uh, Deputy Mayor uh, uh, Mrs. Lenke Hari uh, to say a few words. Jó napot kívánok! Nagy tisztelettel köszönöm a nagy követőnök, nagy tisztelettel köszönöm a professzorokat, köszönjük, hogy helyet adtak. Hatodik alkalommal került megrendezésre a jogana. És nagyon örülünk, hogy uh, itt Balaton Füreden ez ismét együtt vagyunk. Balaton Füreden itt is ugyanolyan fontos az indiai kapcsolat, ápoljuk az indiai kapcsolatot, és uh, mindez mutatja, hogy uh, 
ez a, ez a kapcsolat, ez a, az India irányában való tiszteletünk kölcsönös, hiszen minden alkalommal bekapcsolódunk a jó vonatba. Sajnos, mint egyik kína tagol sétálni, nem szoktuk ezt megtartani, sajnos most a körülmények azt hozták, hogy otthon vagy zárt körben kell ezt megtartanunk. Nagyon köszönöm, hogy professzor úr helyet adott itt a Szívkórházban ennek a joga órának a megtartására, ami egy különleges alkalom, hiszen most igyekszünk minden zárt térben, hogy itt otthon megtartani. Mint tudjuk, a joga az nagyszerű program, hiszen nem csak a testünket, hanem a lelkünket, a szellemünket is építi, amire most a vírus idején nagyon nagy szükségünk van. Én remélem, hogy itt most egy nagyszerű jogaórát fogunk, jogaórát fogunk részt venni. Köszönöm szépen a lehetőséget, és kívánom, hogy ez a jogaórán nagyszerű legyen. Köszönöm. Thank you. Um, this is Shankar and this is Sue. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And thank you very much for Professor Dr. Bersh who gave us the room and place the opportunity to having us today and um, to have the opportunity to keep this yoga session this way. Um, Despite of the circumstances we have today because of the coronavirus, we have to uh, keep this yoga session this form online and uh, we have to stay home. But we hope that next time we can see each other in person and uh, we can meet in better circumstances. Um, for us, for us for, and for us of Red Yoga is very important and the relationship with uh, India is very important uh, because of the respect of the culture, because of the, the cultural connection we have together. And um, in normal days, we keep this session on Tagore Promenade, but because of this situation, we have to be close and we have to do it without public this time. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity again and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. I would also request Dr. Gabor Varesh to address today's session with a few words. Good morning for everyone. Nice to have this occasion to welcome to that uh, this yoga session. We have a very strong relation and connection with the Indian Embassy. Every year visitors are coming just because the uh, Rabindranath Tagore memory as you know, 100 years ago, we treated the Tagore in our institute. And at that time, it was a sanatorium-like hospital. And now, uh, this is a cardiac rehab centrum, the National Institute in Hungary. And beside this, we are doing uh, active cardiology as well, pacemaker implantation, ICD implantation, treating the coronary patients uh, with stent implantation, and so on. It's very important, uh, uh, we are saying that the exercise training is the cornerstone of cardiac rehabilitation. But maybe interesting in the future, the yogi sessions also will be interesting for us. Fortunately, we are over the coronavirus uh, pandemic in Hungary, and we hope that uh, this uh, occasion will be uh, strengthen uh, our relationship with India and with your, uh, with your colleagues as well. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Dr. Varish. And now I would um, like to also thank uh, uh, His Excellency for joining us and uh, Mrs. Lankehari for joining us. We would now start the yoga session, uh, which is uh, you know, themed as yoga from home by the Ayush Ministry in India. And uh, we would like to start the session with Ms. Ankita Su. Then I would request all the others to take their places. So we could fix the uh, laptop in such a way that all the people can see Ankita's session. And uh, I would now request Ankita 
to um, begin uh, your session. Thank you so much and uh, namaste and a very, very good morning to everyone at Balaton Puret. Well, yes, this time it is going to be a little different because we are going to do a virtual session. Uh, definitely considering that uh, the situation which we all are facing, but you all are the COVID warriors for us. And you have really done such a, such a great job. You have been like a lifeline working day and night for all the patients. So thank you so much. And uh, that is the reason I thought now uh, it is our duty to rejuvenate you, to make you more positive, to make you more happy and give that smile on your face. So that is the reason we will be doing this yoga session uh, based on uh, this theme, Ghar Ghar Se Yog, that is yoga from home. As you say in uh, Hungarian, yoga uthon. <laughs> so yes, it is going to be from uh, our places. So I welcome all of you. And now we will be starting with this session. So you all can understand English. So we will be just uh, speaking in English. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, because yeah, okay, great. <laughs> so we will be starting. So everyone can be, we are sitting in Sukhasan, that is you are crossed legged. Keep your hands in chin mudra. Now in chin mudra, you are supposed to touch the tip of the index finger with the tip of your thumb. Three fingers will be together and you're supposed to place both your hands on your thighs. Keep your back straight. And very gently, you may close your eyes. Just watch your breath. Keep your back straight. And now gently releasing the chin mudra, join your hands in Namaste mudra in front of your chest. Let us start with the universal sound of consciousness. That is the sound of Om. We will be chanting the sound of Om three times. Everyone inhale deeply. Rub your palms together. Feel the heat and energy within your palms. And now very gently, cup your eyes with your palms. Gently, you may open up your eyes with a beautiful smile on your face. Get your hands down. So namaste. We have now conditioned our mind, our body, and our breath for the session. So now we will be standing up. So please stand up. Yeah. 
Now it is very important that we stretch our spine on a daily basis. We have different angles in which the spine has to be stretched. So we are going to start with the spinal stretches. Little distance between both your feet and interlock your hands. Slowly turn them around. And as you inhale, you stretch your arms up. The purpose is that you give a nice stretch to the spine. And as you exhale, you get your arms down. All these things you can practice on a daily basis so that you feel the stretch in the spine. So here we go again. Inhale, stretch, inhale, stretch. And as you exhale, relax. Now some movements, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bend to the right side. Inhale, stretch, come up, and exhale, go to the left side. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist to the right side, and then gently go down towards the floor. The important thing is to keep your knees straight. Inhale, stretch yourself up again. And exhaling, go to the left side. Inhaling, stretch yourself up again. And exhaling, go in the center. Inhaling, come up, stretch yourself up. Exhaling, twist to the right side. Inhaling, come back to the center. And exhaling, twist to the left side. Inhaling, come back to the center. And exhaling, relax. Now distance between your legs a little more. Keep your hands on the waistline and start rotating your neck. Complete rotation of the neck has to be given. Most of the stress, it gets accumulated in the neck. So it is very important that we keep our neck muscles relaxed. So keep on rotating your neck, keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Keep on rotating. And then slowly come back to the center. Take a deep breath in. Breathe in. Breathe out. And now slowly rotate the other side. Rotate. Keep on moving. And try to relax those muscles of the neck. Try to make your muscles more relaxed. And come back to the center and relax yourself. Now stretch your arms and start rotating your shoulders. Rotate your shoulders. Keep on rotating your shoulders again to decrease the stiffness in the shoulders. And now change the other side. Keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving. Now slowly 
and gently relax yourself. Now, get your feet together and let's do one balancing posture. Balancing is again very important to keep our mind balanced. We are supposed to balance in Vrikshasana, that is the tree pose. So slowly and gently raise your left leg up and place it on your groin. Okay, try to balance. And the trick is that you focus a point in front of you. Very good, very good. And now join your hands and stretch your arms up. Keep on breathing. Excellent. Very good. All right. Slowly come back down. Very good. And slowly get your hands down. Get your foot down. Now we change. The other leg goes up. Join your hands in Namaste. And stretch your arms up. Very good. Excellent. Balance. Concentrate. Smile. And slowly and gently get your hands down. And get your foot down. Okay, now a little distance between your feet and what we are going to do is diagonal. So everyone will just turn this around and spread your legs a little more. Spread your legs. It's fine, okay, you can be like this only. Okay, spread out your legs. Turn around your foot. Just the foot. Arms, very good. And then gently, three corners and get your hand down. Look up, try to look up. Feel the stretch in the sides. Keep on breathing. Focus on your breath. And slowly and gently come back. Now turn around, turn the other foot out. Very good. And here we go. Down. Look up. Keep on breathing. Slowly come back to the center. Get your hand down and get your feet together. Now loosen up yourself, close your eyes and just try to breathe. Eyes are closed. Breathe and focus on your complete physical body. Focus on your breath. All right, now slowly and gently, we keep our feet together and we give a complete stretch to the spinal area. So for that, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bending forward, go down. Try to relax your head down, breathe, and slowly as you inhale, you stretch up, and then you relax. One more time, repeat, 
Inhale, stretch your arms up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhaling, bend forward, go down, go down. Excellent, go down. Slowly come back up. Stretch your arms up. And relax yourself. Okay, now everyone will sit down. Stretch your legs in front. Feet will be together. Hands will be next to your body. We are doing Paschim Uttanasana. It's a very beautiful spinal stretch. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend forward. And try to hold wherever it is possible for you to hold. Just hold your foot and drop your elbows down. Drop your head down. Try to breathe and stay in this position, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, relax. In yoga, we pay a lot of importance to the thoughts and the way we are doing the posture. So the attitude matters a lot. Whenever we are doing any forward stretch, that means we are letting go. We are letting go of all the negativity. We are letting go of all the problems. And it, come, it comes under the Vairagya Bhav. So when you do the posture right now, once again, do it with the feeling of just letting go. Make yourself loose, just be relaxed. So we do it one more time. Start. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bending forward, letting go, letting loose. Stay relaxed, head down. Drop yourself, drop your ego. And with complete faith on Almighty, surrender yourself to Mother Earth. Be with the feeling of surrender. And now slowly and gently stretch your arms up. And then you may relax. Now let us do one twisting posture, Ardha Matsendra Asana. For that, your legs are stretched, keep them together. Hands next to your body. Bend your right leg. Crisscross. Let's do step by step. Hold with your left hand and try getting your knee closer to your chest. And now slowly and gently, we twist to the right side, take the hand at the back side, twist. Breathing is normal. And slowly come back to the center. And relax yourself. Stretch. Now we repeat it with the other leg. Bend your left leg. Crisscross. Hold with your right arm. Take your left hand at the back side. Twist yourself. Breathing is normal. And come back to the center. Relax yourself. 
Let us repeat this posture once again. So please bend your right leg, crisscross, hold, and twist yourself. Right side twist and stay there. Very good. Now when you are twisting yourself, complete attention should come on your spine and feel as if the spine is twisting and this torsion is going to getting out all the impurities from the spine. So let us twist nicely. That twist is really important and it's very healthy for the spine. And then slowly come back. Excellent. And now change the other leg. Let's go on to the other side. So we bend our left leg. Crisscross, hold, twist to the other side. Come back to the center and relax. So stretch your arms up and bend forward. And now see the change in Paschimottanasana, head down. Slowly inhaling, come up and relax yourself. Now because of your constant work, maybe you're standing too much. And that is the reason you might be getting some lower back pains. So for that, I'm going to teach you one very, very effective posture that is called as Bhujangasana. For Bhujangasana, you are all supposed to lie down. But I would request you all to first watch me what you're supposed to do. We are going to do Bhujangasana followed by the counter pose. So please watch both the postures and then you will be lying down and I will be giving you the instructions. So first understand and watch. For Bhujangasana, you're supposed to lie down on your abdomen. You will be placing both your hands just below your shoulders and your feet will be together. Forehead will be down. Elbows will be in. Slowly, slowly as you inhale, you raise your head up and try to look up. Slowly then coming down and then relax in Makarasana. Makarasana, you just relax. After that, the counter pose, I'm going to show it to you. You're supposed to just take a turn on your back. Bend your right leg, your left leg, hold them under your knees and just relax your lower back completely, like this. And then you relax yourself. The right way to get up is always take a turn on one side, relax for a while, supporting your hand, slowly sitting back. Okay, so now you all are supposed to do it. Okay, this was just the watching, watching session. I will be giving you the instructions. So let us start. Please lie down on your abdomen. Lie down on your abdomen. Very good. Take the position of Bhujangasana. That means your feet together. Forehead down on the floor, elbows in. Now as you inhale, slowly, slowly raise your head up. Slowly, slowly raise your head up. Excellent, stay there. Now you're breathing normal, that is important. You are not holding your breath, you're breathing normal. 
and slowly and gently coming down. Very good. Now relax in Makarasana. That is both your hands under your head. Turn your head to one side. Close your eyes and get your entire attention on your spine. And let us do spinal breathing. In spinal breathing, the entire attention is going to be on your spine. Meru Dandar. The spine, as you all know, is having the nerves, which is being connected to all the organs. So it is very important to relax the spine. Keep on breathing. As you inhale, the spine rises up. As you exhale, the spine goes down. Inhale. Exhale. Try to relax yourself. Keep on breathing. One more round of Bhujangasan, the Cobra pose. Please take the position. Both your hands just below your shoulders, under your shoulders. And slowly and gently start raising your chest up, your head up. Now try to feel that the neck is getting a lot of stretch. So it is extremely good for your neck. It is extremely good for your thyroid gland. You are getting a nice stretch in the thyroid area. And now what you're supposed to do is focus your entire attention on the neck area, the cervical area, the spinal area, your breathing. Excellent. Very good. Hold the posture that is we, that's going to be really beneficial for the spine. You're breathing. And now slowly and gently go down. And relax yourself in Makarasan. And gently now. Take a turn and lie down on your back. Take a turn and lie down on your back. In yoga, we have this rule that if we are giving a specific stretch to a spine, it is very important to do the counter pose so that we relax the muscles of the spine. So right now, when we did a backward stretch, it is important that we now give a counter pose. So for that, I've shown you Pavan Muktasan. So slowly hold your legs the way I've showed you. So just hold your, you hug yourself. You're lying down on your back and just hold yourself. And this is going to relax the lower back completely. Keep on breathing. Very good, keep on breathing. During the day, if you feel that, you know, in the evening you feel that the back is getting a lot of stress, it is getting some pain, and there is some discomfort in the back. So you can just lie down for a few minutes or a few seconds in this position. This is really helpful for your lower back. Breathing is normal, eyes are closed. Deep breathing, relax yourself completely. And now very slowly, just get your arms down, arms down, and just keep your legs down, but keep them folded, okay? Keep them bent, very good, okay. Now, what you're supposed to do is, your legs are bending, 
okay and slowly you just raise your pelvic up just raise your pelvic up very good excellent very good raise your pelvic up little up just little up so this way you are going to give a nice stretch to the lower back in your lumbar area try to tuck in your abdomen tuck in your belly so you take your belly in push your lower back out this is extremely good to strengthen up your lower back muscles and then slowly and gently get yourself down very good and now just relax yourself stretch your legs relax in shavasan position both your arms are close to your body eyes are closed focus on your breath complete attention is on your body and try to surrender your body to mother earth just let go and relax being conscious of your breath nothing else try to rejuvenate your mind your body the organs of the body focus on your breath and now make some gentle movements of your fingertips of your toes get your feet together take a turn on one side just take a turn and lie down on one side don't be in a rush to sit just stay relaxed as i mentioned it is very important that we get up in a right way now take the support of your hand and slowly sit in sukhasana in the cross leg position very slowly and gently keep your eyes closed sit sit down in sukhasan slowly just sit down in the cross leg position keep your eyes closed
Rub your palms together. Gently massage your neck. Massage your back. Again, this massage, you can do it whenever you get the time. It immediately increases the blood circulation of your body. Makes you feel fresh, rejuvenated change. Especially the joints, your elbows, your wrists. And give some massage to your hands, which are doing all the wonders for your patients. And rub your palms. This heat and energy is very, very good for the body. And to rejuvenate the eyes, we can now cover the eyes with the palms. And now slowly and gently, you may just open up your eyes with a beautiful smile on your face. And get your hands down. So namaste, here we end the session which was full of rejuvenation. I hope these practices, you can do it on a daily basis. They were very simple yet very effective. So try to continue with these practices on a daily basis to make you feel better, healthy. And if you are healthy, if you are positive, only then you will be able to help your patients. So the first duty is towards yourself. So please take care of yourself, stay happy, healthy, and stay positive. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ankita, for uh, giving a beautiful, energizing uh, yoga session for all the Corona warriors, doctors and nurses who must have worked diligently during the time when the pandemic had broken in Hungary too. Uh, now I would uh, request if uh, uh, anybody wants to say something um, from uh, the side of the hospital. Thank you for this yoga session. I'm very happy for being my girl workers. Everybody do good way, and I hope they practicing the yoga session in the future as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining all of you. Thank you, uh, Sir His Excellency, for uh, joining us. Thank you, Ankita, and I hope we are going to continue this association with Balaton Heart Hospital and the Balaton Fuled City in future. And I would like to inform you that uh, on 21st of June, which is the International Day of Yoga, we are all uh, coming online on our uh, you know, Facebook page. And I would request all of you to log into our Facebook page and be with us uh, for the Facebook Live uh, Yoga throughout the day on 21st of June. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.